hello you're welcome back to my channel nothing with annie you're welcome back if you're a new subscriber welcome to this channel this is nothing with annie where i film about nothing health lifestyle yeah you're welcome if you're a returning subscriber thank you for coming back to see what this video look, looks like as usual we talk about nursing health lifestyle yeah on this channel so without much ado I am going to be talking about what you should know before entering into nursing school. As someone who is going to become a student nurse, what you should know before entering nursing school. And I'll be talking about the ethical part. When I mean the ethical part, I'm talking about the do's and don'ts of, you know, nursing students when in, you are in nursing school. That's what I'll be talking about in this video. So if this is a video you're interested in, sit back, relax, and enjoy. Ooh. Okay, uh, it depending depending on the nursing school you'll be going to, if you know we have the ones that are run by the federal government, like federal government, state government, and then the missionary. Yeah. So depending on which one you'll be going to, but it it is all related. The first thing you should know as a nursing student is that you are going to be on your uniform every time you are in the class. When you get into school, you might not get the uniform immediately you get into school. But then, it is what you'll be wearing to class. There's nothing like mufti or, you know, fashion, being a fashionista or, you know, something like that. No, you are going to be on your uniform every time you are in the class. Yeah, so take note of that. If you are going to nursing school with all your fashion wears, with all the clothes in your closet, <laughs> you might not be wearing them often because most times what you wear in nursing school is your white. Yeah. Number two thing you should know is as a nursing student, you are not going to, you know, like this kind of hair I'm on now, you're not going to use it in nursing school. Now, even when you make this kind of braids, when you make this kind of hair, everything will be packed to the back and then they must not touch your sleeve or your collar no you have to pack your hair neatly well trimmed if you're a guy you have to bath your hair you know well trimmed you don't just carry hair anyhow hair you know in into the classroom or when on your clinical duties you have to pack your hair neatly and short it's, it's not supposed to be touching your sleeve like mine is doing now it's not supposed to be touching your sleeve or your collar you have to you know tr pack your hair well trim your hair well and you are good to go it's not like you're not going to carry this kind of hair no but then it has to be packed and short and another thing is number three is you don't carry colored hair in nursing school mm -mm, mm -mm. You don't carry colored hair in nursing school it's a no-no in nursing school depend like i said depending on your school some schools might be very strict that they even cut the hair or they might even tell you to go and loosen the hair and you know make another one so you don't carry colored hair in nursing school it has to be black i am um, color 33 that is kind of brown but it has to blend with your skin color black brown yeah that is it another thing you should know is number four you are going to be on your shoes while you're on uniform and the shoes most schools use brown brown shoes while some schools use black depending but it has to be you know just a normal shoe with cover either black or brown yeah Number four is you are going to be very respectful. Just have it at the back of your mind. If you're someone who is coming into nursing school and you don't have respect, you, I think you have to learn it before coming into nursing school. You have to learn it. You ha you'll have to learn how to be respectful because you are going to be respecting your lecturers. You're going to be respecting your clinical instructors. This is not like university where anything goes for anything. You do what you like and all that. Even in universities where people like nursing universities they still respect you know their lecturers their seniors like someone who is on in higher level than them yeah so you just have to be respectful you have to be respectful no there is no two ways about it your seniors your colleagues your teachers your instructors your lecturers you just have to be respectful number five is learn how to use titles yeah if you are in the clinical setting, like in the hospital, learn how to use the titles like ADN, DDN, C, 
senior nursing officer, chief nursing officer, you know, there is a lot of the titles. I'll be leaving it on the screen for you to see. So you learn how to use these titles to address whoever you are addressing. You don't just call the person by name in this profession. You address nurses with the titles that they have. Yeah. Number six is... <laughs> This one is, is kind of weird, but I think there is sense in it. You are not supposed to be found everywhere on your nursing uniform. The only place you are, you are to be found on your nursing uniform is in your class or in the clinical setting. Yeah, you are not supposed to be found on your nursing uniform in the market. No, it's disrespectful to the profession. You are not supposed to be found on your nursing uniform in an e tree. Mm -mm. No. It is disrespectful to the profession. You're not supposed to be found on your uniform anywhere outside the class or, you know, the clinical area. Yeah, you're not supposed to be found with your uniform in the market, in an e tree. Oh, you're not supposed to be found with your uniform. Yeah, so that is one thing we should also know. Another thing you should know, which is number seven, I hope I've not lost track of the numbers. Another thing you should know, which is number seven, is that you are not going to be found with this kind of earrings. <laughs> there are so many rules and regulations, you know, surrounding nursing school, but it's not something to be afraid of. It's something you can adjust with. It's something you can cope with. So in nursing schools, I don't know for others, but where I trained, you are not supposed to be found with this kind of earring on your uniform. Nah, 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 nah. Earrings, bracelets, except your ring if you're married. But you see earrings, bracelets, dangling earrings on your uniform. Like, who are you doing the guy for? <laughs> you're not supposed to be found on this kind of earrings. What is being used is full stop, you know stored just full stop and you're good to go no dangling earrings no fashion earrings like this no bracelets except your wedding ring if you are married i think you should know in nursing school you should know before entering nursing school is you are supposed to dress properly before going to class you have to put everything in the right where they are supposed to be, you have to wear your nursing gown, your belt, your cap, well fitted on your head. You are not supposed to leave anything out. For the meals, the same thing, your badges, everything should be on point. No sagging of trousers, you know, no. In fact, there is no, you don't do fashion in nursing school, like, right? especially when you're in the classroom area, you're in the clinical area, there is no time for that. So you don't sag, you don't let everything be. Where they are supposed to be another thing you should know is the nails your nails your nails has to be short and well trimmed you are not supposed to fix your nails in the clinical area in class we don't do that so your nails has to be like mine it has to be like mine well trimmed and no coloring or painting of nails another thing you should know is you'll be going for clinical what posting you'll be going to the hospitals to work and gain experience you're going to be going for postings like community experience orthopedic experience of sangani experience um yeah so those are the experiences you'll be going for to acquire knowledge to gain more and to know what nothing really is so you have to prepare your mind your spirit body and soul for that another thing you should know is you are not going to skip classes you might skip one or two but there are rules and regulations like i said there is going to be an amount of or the number of times you skipped classes and the only thing left for the school is either to demote you or tell you to carry your bags and go so you have to be careful not to skip classes you have to be careful not to skip classes the best thing you can do for yourself is you are in school you are in school now just attend the classes do what you're supposed to do to avoid problems. Nothing is a very respectable and, you know, dignified profession in Nigeria, outside Nigeria. So everything that comes or goes with it has to be in that manner. Another thing you don't do in nursing school is fight. 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 <laughs> Once you fight, you are carrying your bags home. It's that simple. You don't fight in nursing school. Like, what 
are you now telling others? Like, I don't get. I don't get. You don't fight in nursing school. Once you fight, once you are caught in a fight, you are going home. No two ways about it. So yeah, you don't fight at all. Another thing you should know is you don't miss your clinical experience except you are sick or something very important came up and you have to take permission before leaving. So you have to attend your clinical experiences whenever it is time for the stipulated period you are told you'll be doing, you know, you'll be going for the experience, you have to go, you don't have to skip it. If for any reason you have to skip your experience, you have to report to the head or the school authority in order to avoid being punished or being in a very tight situation yeah another thing you should know in nursing school is you are going to read you will read you you are like anybody that tells you that nursing school you're not going to read that person is a liar like you are going to read but i think where it is easier is if you read bit by bit every day not when exams are closed. You now go and carry all your books and put it in front of you and you expect magic to happen. It won't work that way. Yeah. So you have to do the needful, read bit by bit before you go to bed every day. Make sure you open your book or go through what you've been taught for that day. And you see, life is easy. It is going to be easy. So yeah, I think I'm done. Thank you for watching up to this point. If you're not subscribed yet, please go subscribe, like this, like this video if you enjoyed it, comment, drop your comment in the comment section. Do you have any questions for me I'm willing to answer? Drop them in the comment section. Like this video, turn on your post notification bell to know when I post a new video. And I'll see you in my next video. Until then, I love you. Bye.